Hello everyone. Hey guys. Well, well, well. I can actually <laughs> say that this is really a very special episode. Because really is. this is the Leaky Cup launch episode yes. of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. Jeremy, who is the inventor of the said cup. So about a year ago on the channel, Jeremy fashioned a leaky cup. He took a plastic pot, he hot glued a little top from a Liquitex Basics tube of paint, <laughs> he drilled holes in the bottom to it, and then he merrily threw paint into it, and the leaky cup yes. was born at that point. Now, ever since that very first episode, people said to us, why don't you guys make one? Well, we thought about <laughs> it, and then we tried, and we had prototype after prototype after prototype. Yes. We were playing around with this thing, it was taller, it was shorter, it was with a funnel, it was without a funnel, and we finally settled, after about yeah. four months of R&D, on this leaky cup. Yay! Which is the one that you see right yes. here. And we've been printing them for probably the last two months. Yes, we have. We wanted to make sure we had a little inventory of these yes. bad boys. So, you can now go to www.massyartstudio.com and you'll be able to grab yourself a leaky cup. Yes. Now it's right there on the on the website for $24.95 and that includes shipping. And what do you get? Well, you're gonna get it in this leaky cup box. And um, this is what the little leaky cup is gonna arrive in. So we leveled up our packaging a little bit for you. And on the back here, there's a QR code. Yes. If you scan that QR code, you'll actually be taken to a exclusive episode on this channel where you'll be able to see things like our recipes, watch us pour in, and we'll also talk to you about leaky cup maintenance. Yes. Now when you open your box, what you're gonna get in here is one leaky cup, but also a business card that also has the QR code on the back of it. I'm covering it up so no one sneakily takes a look at this thing. So you're also gonna get this business card with the, with the QR code on it too. Um, both ways you'll actually get some exclusive content that no one else will have the opportunity to see. Yeah. So guys, get your hands on it right now. And in this episode, we're actually gonna pour some leaky cups. Yes. So we're gonna show you how we use it, the compositions that we can get with it, which are just one of a million things you can do with this thing. Yeah. How excited are you? I'm so excited. I thought you might so be. So amazing. I thought you could be. So um, yeah, www.massyartstudio.com and then you'll see a little heading that will say shop art and the leaky cup. All right guys, let's get to it. Let's get to the table and let's stop get to pouring. The table. Let's do this. Hello ladles and jelly spoons. It is Lee at the table and I'm super excited as you will already have heard to be trying out once again the now launched Leaky Cup. This is the Massey Art Studios design developed little bad boy based on Jeremy's designs. It says Massey Art Studio around the little foot there, how cute's that? Um, this is one of the gold ones that we actually aren't selling because the gold ones didn't print particularly well underneath, whereas the other ones do. So um, we use these in the studio just as like prototypes and that's exactly what I'm doing today. So. This leaky cup is going to be onto this 12 by 12 inch square wooden panel that is atop my lazy Debrek as I'm going to spin this one out and see what kind of composition we get today. My colours are colours that if you are super astute and watched two episodes previous you will have seen and they are Amsterdam's greenish blue and Amsterdam's cyan blue and then I've got the permanent blue violet and the permanent red violet. Then I've got Liquitex Basics Mars Black and Liquitex Basics Iridescent Pearl White. And then I got 24 karat gold in a little pot here too. Now all these are the leftover paints that we had left over from the previous episode. Yes. But in the previous episode they were thick. Mm -hmm. So I added a little bit of water to these to get them to the consistency which I require, which is this. It is a disappearing no mound. 
basically it's a nice runny consistency there's no mound and it just disappears leaving a tiny tiny trace and that is it now this one which i didn't mention is nicolazzle gold and this is a golden's color and this is going to be what's going to be my base so as you can see the show pony has already yes -o thank you is that the right way of saying it yeah yes -o this canvas um but what i'm going to do right now is pour some of this delicious base coat on top now that's a 12 by 12 wood canvas right it is yes and i'm going to just get this all over the canvas because this is going to help my composition slide now it doesn't have to be completely covered because i will go back in very likely and get my edges if they were not already got gotten whatever english is hard <laughs> math is hard and english is hard exactly <laughs> but that's more than enough for me to be able to just layer this cup into oh i love that color it's really pretty all right so you know how precise i am i do not fly by the seat of my pants like the show pony does so what i am going to do is just try and get as close to the middle as i can by just going diagonally diagonally across and then where that meets that will be middle just like that that's amazing thank you show pony oh the little gold cup looks so cute on that nicolas or gold as well okay so now i'm just going to start layering the colors so when i thought about how i'm going to lay the colors what i thought i was going to do or what i am going to do is do them similarly to how i do the fosia flowers i'm going to go dark to light and then do black and white and then go dark to light and do black and white and see if that works sure not going to be freestyling this one okay um but we'll see what happens so now i'm going to take my colors and start pouring them into the cup now the one thing about this leaky cup which i love is this little nubbin that's right in the center of the cup it's there for two reasons first it's a guide to show you where to pour but secondly it'll actually push the colors down to the holes that are in the cup which will form the leaky cup so that's exactly where i'm going to pour all right let's do this let's get pouring these colors it's a little windy in the studio first off with the blue Ooh, and it's dripping beautifully so this is a great consistency thank you i just knocked over my greenish yellow so there's only half of a cup of it left now Deliciousness. And some of the blue. Oh, I love that colour. All right, then let's do. I'm going to do black first. And then white. This might like cleanse the palette as well. We'll see. And then a little bit of gold. All right. And then I'm going to lay in exactly the same way again. So let's do blue violet, red violet. A lovely greenish blue and the cyan okay and then let's go back again and we'll do black white and gold black white and gold little touch right and same again
If you thought you weren't made that way It's the choices we make We give and take And I know you will keep track Said I think I know what you mean Pretty good for a dumb machine And you gave me that smile We stood there for a while That was when you woke me up Right. Okay. So that's all the layers that I want to do on this wooden board. Next, we got to get this leaky cup off the canvas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow into the top of the leaky cup first, just to make sure that all of the colors that are in here push out onto the canvas. Okay, next I'm going to remove this from the board. All right, one of the beauties of this design is that there isn't a static solid foot. It's actually standing on eight feet. And so what that allows the paw to do is to go underneath the composition. Now I'm going to do Fiona's touch. So I'm going to take some balled up paper towel and I'm going to dab right in the center just to allow all those colors just to gather back together again. Um, then I'm going to take my flow extender and just get the edges that were not covered. Let's do that real quick. Thank you, sir. Yeah. All right, now to spin in this bad boy. So this 12 by 12 wood round is actually sitting on top of this lazy Deborah. Now it's time to spin this one out. Stand back, show pony. Go ahead. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Well, it didn't take a lot of spinning at all. And that's because there was a heck of a lot of paint on here. So um, just one spin is all that it needed. Yeah. All right, ladles and jelly spoons, there it is. This is all I'm gonna do with this one. You saw me spin that out once. Now I gave it a good old spin in all fairness, but because there was a decent amount of paint on here, it's all it really needed. Um, thankfully it didn't go too much everywhere. It's, it's dark. And, but I like it. Um, I love that you can still see the gold. You've got the blue, the purple, all the colors here you can still see. Um, but this is actually like one of my favorite flowers, I think. Yeah. And I think it's because it's on that square canvas, not round, yeah. which could be something to do with it. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna torch this one. I'm gonna get my edges, then I'm gonna take you guys in for a close up. Well, this is just one of the compositions you can create with the leaky cup. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I'm excited about this. I can't wait to get started on this on I'm this piece. I'm surprised you're excited. I mean, the <laughs> launch of your leaky cup. 
I know, exciting. right? Yes. I know. I'm so excited about the leaky cup, you guys. It just makes me so happy. It's like full of joy. Um, so I got my leaky cup. Mm -hmm. um, I got my 12 by 12 canvas that has been taped and backed mm -hmm. um, and pinned. Um, I got my colors and I will go through the colors as I pour. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So what's your base coat? My be? base coat is this, what is this called? Uh, onyx? Obsidian. Obsidian. Yeah. It's obsidian, which is this like dark gray, almost black. There's definitely some graphite in there. I think there's some Prussian blue in there too. Oh, right. it okay. was, yeah, it's like a, a Heinz 57. Okay, awesome. So let's get to flooding this canvas. Now, whilst you do that, I do want to make a quick comment about the consistency of the paint for this leaky yeah. cup. So these are all leftover paints from the pour that we did previously, where we had thick paints. You know, we mixed them to our everything else pouring consistency, which is 25% gloss medium, 25% paint, 50% flow troll. Yes. But because we're using them in the leaky cup, they do have to be thinner. So all we did was add a splosh of water to each of the colors to get them to the consistency that basically is zero mound. And then it just kind of falls into itself when you pour it off the, the craft stick. This is not as thin as you would do the Dutch pour consistency. So it's not what would be our regular thin consistency, but there's no mound here at all. It is literally just falling off the, I was gonna say the spoon, falling off the spoon. It's <laughs> falling off the craft stick. Yes, it really is. And the great thing about the fact that you've put this on the Lazy Deborah Show Pony is you don't have to get it super, you know, smooth on all the edges because you're going to spin this one out. I'm going to spin this one out. Look at that. I know, it's just habit. I know. I see that. I gotcha. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to place my leaky cup in what I think is dead center. So let's see here. Let's look. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think that's pretty much dead okay. center. All right, you like that one, yeah, did you? Yeah, I do. Well done. Yeah, mm -hmm. you should see it. It's really good. I'm saying I'm sure. <laughs> we'll see as you pour this one out. Huh? Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. Walkers, don't forget to tell us your colors as you pour them into the pot. Yes, yes. Okay, so I think I'm going to start out with something lighter. Okay. So, I think I'm going to go with this turquoise. Okay. This lovely turquoise number. And that turquoise is? The turquoise is? A mix that you made yourself. Yes, Oh, I'm sorry, a... I thought you were going to tell everyone what the colors were as you put them in the cup. Yeah, it was turquoise. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, got it. <laughs> there you have it, folks. It was turquoise. It's turquoise. There you go. Any turquoise will do. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. I see what you're saying now. All right. Orange. So, this is nickel azo gold mixed with some burnt sienna. There you go. Okay, yes. I understand now. I think the reason why you didn't say what that turquoise was because it was one that you made yourself from a couple of blues, right? It was one that I made myself that I just don't remember. Got it. That looks like some of your jewelry right there. Yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. And what's that one? Oh, this is champagne gold. Got it. Yes, some champagne gold. Next, I'm gonna go with some cobalt, some uh, some cobalt blue, metallic cobalt blue. Artist oh, loft color, I love that one. Yeah, this one's gorgeous. Put a nice healthy layer. So there. an immediate observation that I have is that your colors did not blend as much as I did, and I think I know the reason why. You definitely allow more time between you pouring paints in. I, I was like, one after the other, after the other, after the other. Whereas you're going a little slower and it's allowing the paints to like drip through. Yes. And drip onto the canvas. So a couple of ways to get different compositions. Now this right here was a mixture of the Rich Espresso by Deco Arts Metallics. Yep, yep. And some Burnt Sienna. It was, it was a delicious color. Yeah. We totally. tried to emulate that kind of chocolatey brown that you love. Oh yeah, that I love. Um, I think I'm gonna go back with, now I think I'm gonna do some Nico Azo, not Nico Azo, uh, the, a little bit of that Naples yellow light. 
Now some more of this turquoise. It's looking delicious. I love seeing the colors drip through the holes in the leaky cup. It's so cool. Yeah. You know, people say that like the compositions look like stained glass or they look like mosaic tiles and they really do, you know, depending yeah. on what color scheme you use in, you can get some really fun compositions. You totally can. Excuse me, some cobalt blue. I really like that cobalt blue. Comes out nicely. Yeah, I like it too. Especially when it was next to that orange, the nickel or gold. It yeah. looks so cool. Now you didn't put any Prussian blue in there yet, but the Prussian blue was the previous base coat color. Yeah, I wasn't going to use the yeah. Prussian blue Yeah, okay, yet. fair enough. I like the color palette that you have. Now anyone that comes to the Fluid Art Experience that's going to be here in Plano in November will, if they take one of our classes, be able to purchase art from us or if you take one of the other artist classes you'll be able to purchase art directly from them too because we're all going to have some sample pieces that you'll be able to purchase on the day and for us we'll definitely have the leaky cups there yeah in but we'll also have some leaky cup art as well yeah absolutely little small pieces that you can take back with you if you choose to I'm definitely preferring pouring the leaky cup onto a solid canvas. Yeah, me too. It definitely feels sturdier when you're doing this on a wooden kind of canvas rather than it. Now it does work on a canvas canvas, a cotton stretch canvas, but it's just a little easier to do it on here, I find. I think I'm like pretty much done. Lovely. I think that's where I'm gonna. That was so neat. I was slopping my colors everywhere. You did such a great job. Now, because you've already put your flow extender down, you don't need to worry about the edges now, right? No. All right. <laughs> now for the Fiona touch. Just a touch of love, just a touch of love. Ooh, came out so good. Stunning. Yeah. Wow, this is going to be really cool. I'm very excited to see what happens as you spin this one oh, out. I know, I know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you ready for this? Here it goes. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe I spun that too hard. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they came out great, but all the rest of it just came right off the canvas. You just lost 95% of your composition. <laughs> but I actually, but, I mean, it's pretty. It's beautiful, but yes, like the last five layers is what's left on this canvas right now. But hey, it looks good. And I just spun it way too hard. So there's a lesson in velocity. It was. Right. I got like stripes all on my gloves. I think it came out a beautiful flower. It, it really is a flower. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to keep it like this. I like it a lot. Yes, I lost some of the other colors. Some. Some of the other colors. Mm -hmm. But this looks great. 
I think it's so pretty. It, it's, it came out exactly the way that the, like one of these flowers should. There's very few techniques that you can do that get such a unique flower shape exactly. on the canvas. Exactly. Um, there's the bottle bottom techniques, yeah. of course there is, but um, yeah, I really like this. Yeah, and this is what the Leaky Cup does. Exactly. I mean, it's a great example of what the Leaky Cup does. So we'll be able to show you the dried pieces for these two and you'll see the comparison yeah. between the two pieces. Exactly. All right, guys. Can't wait to hear all your comments. Thanks a Don't lot. Read all your comments. Thanks a lot. So there you have it. There you have it. I love it. <laughs> I am, um, so we poured both on wood panels yeah. and canvases. Yeah. We're actually gonna show you a couple of pieces that we've done on both. Yeah. But our pieces from this episode are actually dry also. So yeah. let's show you those first. Okay. Jeremy, show them your leaky cup. Sure. Here it is. Here it is. Now, I gotta say again, I hysterically, I laughed. <laughs> like a hyena when Jeremy <laughs> spun this one out because he lost 95% of his composition. I spun it out way too hard. He'd been going to the gym a lot and he, these guns were not made for gentle spinning. And uh, I actually, in the episode, as I've already edited it, kind of slow it down and fast it up and kind of watch the paint come flying off the canvas just because it was so gosh damn funny to me. But I actually really loved what you got. Yeah, you know, this the leaky, is cute. One of the things about Leaky Cup is you get this really kind of beautiful flowery design and that's exactly what it was. Um, yeah, it was a really, really pretty design. Yes. Cut to a panel that has more paint on it, <laughs> which is this one. Now these are still also a little bit tacky. This is my piece. Well, again, lots of shimmer and shine on this one because there is actually gloss medium because it was leftover paints that were used. Look how cute that is. It, like people say these look like mosaics or like yeah. stained glass. Um, I can totally see that in this piece. Even though you, I've used a tiny amount of gold, there's a lot of gold on here, but I love seeing all those colors in the middle. Yeah, really pretty. I like this. This is probably my most successful and my favorite leaky cup to date. Nice. And then we just wanted to show you a couple that we'd done previously. And yes. these were on canvases rather than the wooden boards. Yeah. So again, hold yours up Jezebel. You get exactly the same compositions. You know, you've got to make sure that your canvas is straight and you know, that there isn't a tilt. Um, I think you didn't put yours on a lazy deck. I didn't, I stretched mine out, which is why it's a little like, stretched out differently on this side and, and this side. So. I did put mine on the Lazy Deborah, yeah. but there are a million ways that you can use this on wood panels, round panels, hexagon yeah. panels. You can spin it out, you can stretch it out, you can do all sorts of things with it. It is a very versatile little product. We hope that you grab your hands on it while you can. We got a certain amount of stock, so if you do want one, please do grab it quickly. <laughs> when that stock runs out, we will absolutely print more again, but it'll probably be a little time before they're gonna be back on the yeah. site again. Yeah. Um, we will include postage into that price of 24.95, so that's all you pay. We can't bundle them, unfortunately, because they're gonna go out in a box at a time. Yeah. But if you did want to give them as gifts, those boxes are really cute. Yeah. You might just put a ribbon around it and then hand it to someone. Um, but we really, really hope that you love them. And what we would love to see is you post pictures of you using the Leaky Cup on the Massey Art Studio Facebook page. Yes. So that we can see them too. So if you want to grab your hands on the Leaky Cup, it is just www.masseyartstudio.com and you'll be able to go grab your hands on one today. All right, guys. Yes. Sunday is over. It's been a fun train. There'll be people before us. There'll be people after us. Please do try and catch everyone's premieres today. Yes. And we will be back for another normal episode on Tuesday. Thank you, everyone. You have a great weekend. Bye, guys. We'll see you real soon.